First tonight, we are staying on top of developments in Pittsburgh. 11 people are dead after a shooting at a synagogue where Sabbath services were taking place. Six other people were hurt, including four police officers. A suspect was taken into custody at the scene. Chris Pallone has the latest from Pittsburgh. It was around 10 Saturday morning. A man walked into Pittsburgh's Tree of Life synagogue and started shooting. The complainant says they have an active shooter in the building. A second call says they uh, are being attacked. It happened in the city's Squirrel Hill neighborhood. When it was over, 11 people, all adults, lay dead. Six others were injured, including three police officers who were shot but are expected to survive. This is the most horrific crime scene I've seen in 22 years with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. As gunshots echoed through the area, police warned stunned neighbors to stay inside. We looked out the window and we saw that. It yeah, was right, we saw right this here. was happening. We saw people running around with rifles. I mean, SWAT teams with rifles, like people running by our house. The suspected gunman eventually surrendered. So at this time, um, the suspect in the shooting is in custody. Federal sources identify him as 46-year-old Robert Bowers. They say he was armed with an AR-15 style rifle and handguns. Social media posts believed to be made by Bowers were filled with anti-Semitic hate speech. President Trump suggested armed guards could have lessened or prevented the attack and later condemned racial and religious prejudice. The vile, hate-filled poison of anti-Semitism must be condemned and confronted everywhere and anywhere it appears. Bowers is expected to face federal hate crime charges.